Hi, I'm Ted McDonald, an endurance athlete and instructor at Sports School's Yoga Center. Today we'll be doing yoga for athletes. We'll do some challenging poses that will increase strength and bring some circulation to our muscles to help prevent injuries. We'll also do poses that will increase our focus and concentration so that when we perform, we perform with more grace and confidence. So now come to the front of your mat. Bring your feet together. Bring your palms together. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a few breaths. Start to breathe through your nose. Relax your shoulders. Open your eyes. As you inhale, lift your arms up. And then as you exhale, fold all the way forward. Drop your head. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. And then step back to the top of a push-up on your exhale. Pause here. Keep breathing. If you need to, you could drop your knees down to modify the pose. Otherwise, Stay at the top of a push-up. One more inhale, and then slowly lower down. Keep your elbows in as you lower down, all the way to the floor. Let your toes go, keep your butt relaxed, and then lift your heart up. And take the shoulders down the back, squeeze your elbows in. Feel this in your spine. See if you can feel it higher in your spine. Lifting your heart up. Take one more inhale, and then downward facing dog. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up. Relax your head, relax your neck. Hands are about shoulder distance apart. Palms flat, fingers spread. Feet are about hip distance or wider. If your legs are tighter, you can bring your feet slightly wider. Let's see if you can press down into the floor, lifting the tailbone up, breathing deep. From here, come up on your toes as you inhale, and then just walk softly to your hands. The first time we walk softly to the hands. Lengthen your spine as you inhale, and then fold on your exhale. Come all the way up on the inhale. So you let the breath move your body and bring your palms to the heart on your exhale. Inhale again, arms up. Exhale all the way down. Lengthen your spine on your inhale. This time, if you want to, jump back and land halfway down and then easily roll over the toes. Lift your heart up, take the shoulders back, a deep inhale, and then downward facing dog on the exhale. Relax your head, relax your neck. Keep breathing. From here, come up on the toes again, and then walk again, or if you can, float easily up. Lengthen your spine as you inhale, and then fold again on the exhale. Drop your hips, bend your knees, reach your arms up. Chair pose, so you can start higher in chair pose if you want to. But then eventually, you want to sink down a bit, lean back slightly, and use the power of your quadriceps in the pose. Keep breathing deep. Sink a little bit deeper and then reach the arms up. One last inhale and then fold forward on the exhale. Good. Lengthen your spine again on your inhale and then step or float back on the exhale. Roll over the toes, heart up, shoulders back. Deep inhale and then downward facing dog on the exhale. Okay, so from downward facing dog, take your right leg up behind you. One inhale, lifting it up, and then bringing it through to your hands. Stay up on your back toes, keep the back leg nice and straight and strong, and then lift your body up to crescent pose. Crescent pose, keep the back leg straight and strong. Tuck the tailbone if you can, 
Keep your arms up and then easily start to bend your right leg. So from here, you want to feel this in the left thigh. Keep breathing deep and sink down as much as you feel like you want to. Good, then take one more inhale. You can reach up, bring the palms together on the inhale, and then exhale to the floor. Take the leg back, lower halfway down. Roll over the toes, inhale the heart up. If you want, drop your head back. And then if you want to, you can come halfway down again. Then push back to downward facing dog. Take your left leg up behind you. A deep inhale, and then bring it through to your hands on the exhale. Stay up on your back toes, and then again come to crescent pose. Relax your shoulders, keep breathing deep. Keep that back leg straight and strong. So even if you're up slightly, it's fine. Just keep the arms straight and slowly start to lower. Go to your degree in the pose. If you feel like it's too intense, then definitely back off. Otherwise, two more breaths. Good, then your last inhale, reach up, and then exhale down to the floor. Take your leg back, lower halfway, and then roll over the toes. Heart up, shoulders back, head back if you want, and then downward facing dog. Again, take your right leg up behind you. Inhaling it up, exhale it through. Stay up on your back toes again, crescent pose. Relax the shoulders, just kind of be in crescent pose for a moment. Then from here, lean forward. As you're leaning forward, get a straight line from your back foot out your front fingertips. Lengthen the spine, take one more breath, and then take your straight line and lift it up onto your right leg. Flex your back foot. Here, you can have your arms forward, out to the side, or behind you. Good, take one more inhale, and then easily drop both hands down. Relax your head and your neck. So maybe you keep the leg where it is. If you feel like you can lift it up slightly, or you can lift it up a lot. Take one more inhale, and then lengthen your spine from here. Bring your right fingertips just under your right shoulder. Take your left arm up, and then open up that left hip as much as you can. So it's down from the beginning, open it up if you can. Then take your left arm up. From here, gazing down, balance will be easiest. But if you can, eventually start to gaze Take one more inhale, open, and then bring your left hand down. Keep that back leg strong. Keep it lifted up. Keep it opening now to the opposite side. So now the right arm comes up, and you have to lengthen your spine. So lengthen out first, and then turn your body open. Easier to open the more length you get. Good, take one more inhale and then drop it all down, hands down and your feet down. Walk the feet together, lengthen your spine as you inhale, and then step, or if you want, float back on the exhale. Good, roll over the toes, heart up, shoulders back, and then downward facing dog. And then we'll change sides right away. So take your left leg up, inhaling it up, Exhale it through. Stay up on the back toes, crescent pose. Good, relax the shoulders, keep breathing deep. From here now we lean forward. Over the front of the body, get that straight line. So from the back heel, out the front fingertips, is one straight line. Then take your straight line and just step it right up onto your left leg. Remember, arms straight forward, out to the side, or behind you is fine. Just take one more inhale, 
and then both hands down. So you can stay here, primarily just feeling the stretch in the back of your left leg, relaxing your head and your neck. If you're flexible enough, you can lift that leg a little higher. Good, take one more deep breath and then lengthen your spine. Left hand out to the side, right arm up. Open up as much as you can. Gazing up if you feel like that's appropriate. And then switching arms. Right arm comes down, left arm goes up. Keep the back leg reaching back. Keep opening up your body as much as you can. Take one more deep inhale and then drop it all down. Hands down, feet down. Good. From here, lengthen your spine again on your inhale and then step or float back on the exhale. Good. Rolling over the toes, heart up, shoulders back and then downward facing dog. And just take a few breaths in downward facing dog. Relax your head, relax your neck. Just keep the breath nice and smooth. Pressing the heels down gently. From here again, we take the right leg up behind us. A deep inhale, and then bring it through to your hands on the exhale. Stay up on the back toes again. Back leg straight, and then inhale the arms up. Crescent pose again. Find your spot right where your spot is. Just kind of easily go into your body, sinking a, a little deeper. Then from here, take the arms out to the side. Gaze up and lift your heart up as high as you can. So breathe deep. Keeping the back leg strong, breathe a little deeper. Take one more inhale and then bring your palms together. Take the left elbow to your right knee. And then if you need to, drop the back knee down right away. Otherwise, keep the back leg straight. Press your palms into the center of your chest. Turn your body open. Twisting, lengthening, and again, if you can, gaze up to the ceiling. One more deep inhale, and then you can release both hands. Take your leg back, slowly lower. You can lower halfway, and then roll over the toes, hard up. Shoulders back, and then downward facing dog again. Changing sides right away. Take the left leg up, inhaling it up, exhale it through. Stay up on the back toes, crescent pose first. Relax the shoulders, find your spot in crescent pose. Keep breathing, keep your back leg strong. Now from here, take the arms out. Lift your heart up. So you have a lot of space for your lungs. Breathe into that space. One more deep inhale, and then bring the palms together. Good. Right elbow to the left knee. Take that left elbow up toward the ceiling, and then slowly press into the leg and turn your body open. Keep the back leg strong, gazing up if your balance is okay. Good. One more inhale, and then release both hands to the floor. Take your leg back, slowly lower, halfway down. Roll over, inhale the heart up, shoulders back, and then downward facing dog. Pause here for a few breaths. Lengthen the spine, recommit to the pose. Lengthen the spine, keep the fingers spread, heels pressing down gently. Keep the head and neck relaxed. From here, take your right leg up behind you again. Deep inhale, and then bring it through to your hands. This time, turn your back foot flat. Come up to warrior one first, inhaling to warrior one, and then open to the side, warrior two. So warrior two, change your back foot slightly. Keep the back leg strong, but your feet become a right angle. So the front foot faces straight forward, back foot faces the side. Shoulders relax, 
sink your body as deep as you feel like you can. So it doesn't have to be so deep. Find your spot, keep breathing. Allow the pose to work, allow the pose to heat up your body slightly. Take two more breaths. Good, one more inhale. And then you can bring the forearm to the thigh. This would be stage one. Or if you want, bring the fingertips to the floor, stage two. Or all the way down, palm down, stage three. Gazing up toward the ceiling, keep breathing deep. If it's too much on your neck, gaze toward the side. Gaze in the direction of your body. Take two more breaths, opening up. Then from here, take the left arm behind your back. Stay here if you want and just open up the shoulder. If you feel like you can, take the right arm underneath. Grab your fingertips, or if you can, you grab the wrist of the top arm. And then from here, lengthen the front side of your body and then turn up toward the ceiling. And again, take about five deep breaths. Keep your back leg strong, keep breathing. Take one last deep inhale, maximize, and then release. Both hands down, take the leg back, slowly lower. Rolling over the toes, heart up, shoulders back, and then downward facing dog. Changing sides right away. Take the left leg up, inhale, bring it through to the hands and the exhale. This time turn the back foot flat. Come up to warrior one again, a deep inhale, and then open to the side warrior two. So change your back foot slightly, the hips open. Make sure the front foot goes straight forward, sinking the front knee down, arms out to the side. Shoulders stay relaxed, keep breathing. One more deep inhale, and then again, your spot in the pose. Stage one or stage two, you feel like you can. Stage three, gazing up, breathing deep. From here, take the arm behind your back, right arm behind the back, stay here and open up the shoulder, or if you can, the left arm goes underneath. Grab your fingertips, or if you can, Grab the wrist of the top arm. Then lift your body up and open toward the ceiling. Keep breathing deep. Keeping the back leg strong, sinking into your left hip. Last two breaths. And release, both hands to the floor. Take your leg back, slowly lower down. Keep the elbows in as you lower down. Roll over the toes, heart up, shoulders back. And then downward facing dog. One more time, recommit to the pose. Set the hands, lengthen your spine, easily sink into your shoulders. Drop your head, rest your heels. One more inhale, and then drop to your knees. Child's pose. Put your head on the floor and relax for a moment. Let your body rest completely. So if you need to stay resting for longer, then you can stay longer. Otherwise, come back. Set your hands just back from the front of your mat and easily walk your feet up. Just behind your hands, have your feet just wider than your hips. Then squat down, bring your palms together. Pause here, lengthen your spine up. And you can press into the knees, lifting your heart up. Stay here if you like, or if you feel like you have a little more strength, you can set your hands. Take your knees up into the armpits. You can take them into your armpits, and then lean forward. Balancing on your arms, crow pose. Keep breathing deep. It's a little easier if you bend the arms, but eventually 
Get the arms as straight as you can, head up, feet up, two more breaths. And then if you can, slowly, as slowly as you can, float back. And then roll over the toes, heart up, shoulders back. And downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, come up on your toes. Walk or float to the hands. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Fold on your exhale. Come all the way up. One breath up. Good, bring your palms together. Tree pose. Standing on your left leg, take your right leg up in as high as you can into your groin, bring the palms together. So tree pose, relax the shoulders, keep breathing, allow your body to stay focused. And then from here, if your balance is okay, close your eyes. And then open the eyes and release. Good. Changing sides from here, standing on the right leg, bring the left leg up. So here, tucking the tailbone, bringing the hip back the knee back, palms together, pause here, breathe. Tree pose calms your mind, and if you feel like your balance is okay, again, close the eyes. Before you fall, open the eyes. And then slowly release. Good, bring the palms together, take a deep inhale, lift your arms up, and then fold all the way down on the exhale. Good, from here, just sit down. Sit down, lie on your back, pull your knees into your chest. And then pick your head up, hold on to your head, and as you exhale, bring your right leg forward, bring your right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, your leg back. Exhale, the opposite leg forward. Yogi bicycle, inhaling back, exhaling forward. Inhale and exhale. Find the breath, make it a nice smooth rhythm of movement and breath. If you feel like you have more strength in your abdomen, you can keep your shoulder blades completely off the floor as you change from side to side. and then release, pull your knees into your chest, squeeze the knees in for a moment, and then drop your feet down. From here, slowly tuck the tailbone. Lift your hips up, and then scoot your shoulders under your back. So as you get on the tops of your shoulders, straighten the feet, clasp your hands under your body, and then press your hips up. Keep breathing deep. Take one more inhale, pressing the hips up, and then easily unroll your spine. Slowly the upper back, and then the middle back, and the lower back, and the tailbone come down. Pause for a moment. Notice how your spine feels. And then we go a little deeper into the back bend. So you take the hands behind you, come up onto your head first. Coming up onto the head, set your hands and bring your elbows closer together. From here, easily start to press off the mat and straighten your arms. Straighten the arms and press your body forward with your legs. Take two more breaths. And then easily lower down, again tucking the Head, unrolling your spine, upper back, middle back, lower back, tailbone, pause. Allow your body to rest. Notice how your body feels. Notice the heart rate, notice your breath. We'll do one more. From here, take your arms back. Come up on your head and pause. Bring the elbows together if you can. Feet are straight. 
and then easily press up. So you may only be able to press up a little bit and just allow that to happen and then come down. But if you can, press the arms straight. Breathing deep. Good, take one more deep inhale and then easily rest on the exhale. Tuck the head, upper back, middle back, lower back, tailbone. Now pull your knees into your chest. Squeeze the knees in deep and then hold on to your right leg, straighten the left. From here, take that leg over the left side of your body. The right arm goes out to the right and then twist your spine. Take about three breaths. And with each breath, just allow your body to relax. And then we'll change sides from here. Pull the right knee in, pull the left knee in, and then straighten the right leg. Easily put it down, take the left knee across your body over the left side, and then let the left arm be out to the side and just breathe deep. And then easily come back from here. Pull your knees into your chest. Squeeze any last bits of tension out of your body. Take a deep inhale and then let it all go on the exhale. Final relaxation pose. Allow your feet to roll open, your arms out to the side. Tuck your chin slightly. Allow your breath to relax. Allow your body to rebalance and rejuvenate. Stay there as long as you like. So remember, bring the strength, the flexibility, and the focus from yoga into any sport that you play. See you in the next class.